Hello, Dog Bed Sit Blogger here. And now, I don't know if you've noticed with the, the layout that when you first, when you've logged on, you'll have in the, is it the, the top right hand corner, there'll be a bit saying latest TV. And um, so you can check up any of the TV channels which put their stuff onto YouTube for you to watch at your leisure. And I was surprised because there was like a full frontal naked picture of a lady with her tits and nipples and everything out. Uh, with a man who was also equally naked. You couldn't see his wang, but um, he, was, he was naked in a kind of sort of provocative and you know to begin with I thought oh someone's being very clever it's not actually looking like it is but no there was a naked person and it was for a program called everything you need to know about sex I think or something like that uh, and I clicked on it to see what it was because I was kind of amazed to see that and it was a educational program about sex letting people know in an educational way um, about how to kink up their sex life. It's a series that's on Channel 5. I'm kind of annoyed by this uh, because if I, as a user, put up a thing with nipples in it, it would probably be flagged pretty quickly. I've, had, I've got a friend who was flagged for showing his girlfriend's cleavage and pregnant belly, which, and it wasn't in a, in a sexual way. This this had pictures of people, uh, of, you know, full frontal breast shots. There wasn't any fangita showing. There was no wang showing, but there was naked bums showing, and I I really feel it is a major double standard of YouTube. Um, it's, you know, if, if a user was to upload, you know, tits and arse, and even if they were doing it in an educational way, um, they'd get flagged. But, but, but for a broadcaster to do it, oh no, that's okay, they're doing an education programme. That's what I think their, their angle would be. But no, the reason people put tits and arse in their YouTube videos is to gain views. And this wasn't really a educational program. You know, it gave you some tips on stuff, but, you know, going to Google, you can find those tips nowadays. Um, and, you know, the, the scenes that they were showing, they were titillation. They were, it wasn't, it wasn't education. They didn't talk about the psychology. They were, they were, they were talking about how to kink up your sex life. And they talked to about uh, BDSM, and they didn't go into the kind of the psychology of BDSM, or in fact the sexual politics. The interesting thing about uh, you know the sub actually having more power than the, the, the than the dom because it's the sub that says how far the dom can go, and it's you know all that kind of stuff really fascinates me and it kind of really annoyed me that the, the, they did this and it's all it was you know it wasn't a program it's just i'm i'm not for i'm not up for censorship i'm you know but you know i want i will work within the rules of um of of youtube but they're not working to the rules themselves they're giving us double standards it's bullshit um, it's really annoyed me, you know, if, you, if you're going to, do, you know, oh, you know oh. <sighs> anyway, um, yes, yeah, so um, please tell me I'm a gobshite uh, if you want, but I don't think so. It annoyed me that, you know, YouTube users are being flagged up for inappropriate, com uh, 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 inappropriate content and... Um, they, they don't have inappropriate content, and I believe that was inappropriate content. Anyway, enough of me waffling. I'm going to edit this together to try and make it a bit more concise. And um, hopefully soon I will be doing a Dolbetsit music review 
uh, show because uh, I've got loads of stuff that I've bought um, yeah loads of CDs a couple of CDs I've bought and loads of download stuff so keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll see you later bye bye